Okay, so this is a problem that I'm going to be explaining. So we have k equal to the 2008 squared and then plus 2 to the 2008. And then we want to find the, the units digit of k squared plus 2k to the 2 to the k. So if we just put everything as mod 10, then that simplifies a lot. And it also works because all we care about is the units digit of what this is. So if we find the unicity of this and then the unicity of this, and then we take the sum of that, that's that's the unit digit of k. And then if we take the unit digit of k and then we plug it into here, and then the unit digit of that is what we want to find. So we'll just find that. So 2008, uh, the unit digit, only the unit digit matters for finding the unit digit. So um, we'll just take 2008 mod 10, which is 8. And so we have, um, if we're taking it to the square, so 8 squared is 64, which means it's 4 plus, and then 2 to the 2008. The pattern for 2 is um, 2 to the first is 2. Um, 16, which is congruent to 6, and then from 6, that's, and so if you can't tell, it's a pattern of 4, it repeats every 4, which is also called a period of 4, and so 2008, if we check, if it's, uh, we're dividing it by 4, 2008 is exactly divisible by 4, which means it's zero in other words also six and so um it's six which is in other words zero and so um we have k is congruent to uh k is congruent to zero mod ten and k squared, if k is 0 mod 10, then this would be equal to uh, 0, uh, congruent to 0 mod um, 10 as well. And so, um, okay, so 2008 to the 2, and then 2 to the 2008 is a multiple of 4, which means um, it, it's multiple, k is a multiple of 4. And so the unit of um, that would be um, the powers of 2 uh, cycle in 4. 2 to the k, um, so 2 to the k, k is a multiple of 4, which means it has to be a 6. And so we have k squared and then 2 to the k, which means um, 0 plus 6 is congruent to 6 mod 10, which is the unit. And so the unit is 